Hey guys, hope you are doing well. So after Bitcoin uh, went below 30,000, few altcoins are consolidating and also some FUD is going around uh, Binance and BNB is about to break down. My name is Mike Denkler from uh, CoreMX and from the CryptoMite Global Movement and I am bringing you the most important crypto news, technical analysis, altcoin, NFT, DeFi gems to keep you updated and educated. I should state that nothing in this video is a financial advice, so everything just for your education and entertainment purposes only. Always do your, always do your own research and make your decisions based on your research. So guys, smash those like, push the bell and notification or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Smashing those like is helping out the YouTube algorithm. So let's go and check out our favorite bubble charts. Let's see what's happening out there. We see Bitcoin is down almost 1%, Ethereum is um, uh, plus minus zero, and XRP is up. Uh, BitDAO token, uh, the token of Bybit exchange, and also MNT uh, went live on Bybit. And we see SUI, XRP, and Ape is pumping, and other coins are just consolidating. So, guys, let's go and check out our favorite indicator the crypto fear and greed index so we are in the greed zone um, not, not not too much but um, uh, the investor sentiment is good right now so our first news bitcoin full breakout not here yet as btc price spans months at 30000 so bitcoin is consolidating around 30000 and uh, let's see where it will go so uh, BTC price targets extend down to 27,000 with Bitcoin in a state of flux. And this is a kind of uh, Simpson Bart or maybe Burj Khalifa <laughs> um, pattern, but uh, uh, and that was a breakout attempt, but it failed and we are back under 30,000. 26 days within this range to 26, almost a month in this range the market is in flux and both camps are fighting for dominance on-chain monitoring resource uh, says that every time bears starts to get some momentum bulls replenish support at 30,000. in my opinion still too soon to declare a confirmed bull breakout quite simple because we haven't even had a legit test of resistance time for patience and discipline so patience and discipline and this is a weekly chart you see that after breaking up a uh, few weeks of consolidation uh, happening and this is how bitcoin is um, going up so we need more weeks uh, spending in this uh, <clears throat> range bitcoin could find support at key lines such as 20 uh, 200 week moving average at 27000 okay and what about then crypto trade says that bitcoin pretty heavy divergence be between perpetuals and spot here so guys what does that mean perpetual pushing up while spot seems to be selling off so there is a spot sell and perpetual longs short pushing here this is where sellers should gain control on market direction contrarian view in short get trapped at lows buyers step in absorbing sell pressure okay so spike into inefficiency and reject will expect range lows at least if not break down from this range reclaim inefficiency and thus april high then we had have a solid recovery and we are so back again so Treber gibbon says that bitcoin dominance losing 50 percent support that's not good for btc let's see what's happened next so losing this support and breaking down so that a uh, good news for the altcoins uh, dominance is likely to break its recent uptrend and more all over again at least until the btc physical etf decision or when macro factors take over again so this is the bitcoin dominance and breaking down as we speak cool next piece of news is so sec formally accepts blackrock spot bitcoin etf application for review okay so the procedure is going on okay 
So there was this surveillance sharing clause that would involve the Coinbase crypto exchange monitoring and reporting possible illegal activity and also work higher updated this application with the same provision and the fidelity and arc invest also updated a spot bitcoin etf would track the value of uh, of bitcoin without require, requiring the asset to be held directly it will also be tradable on a traditional stock exchange so holy grail complete and utter disaster with BlackRock's application now on the SEC's official calendar, it will be published in the Federal Register and triggered 21-day public comment period. Okay. Cool. So it's officially accepted and we'll see. Next piece of news is BlackRock CEO Larry Fink says inter uh, interest in crypto is global predicts spot bitcoin etf will lower investing costs oh, so larry fink was on cftc and he says that uh, much like gold etfs lower cost to invest in the precious precious metal a bitcoin etf would likely to do the same for the king crypto he says a bitcoin etf would also open up the king crypto to a border pool of investors as worldwide demand for crypto investing is on the rise so not just bitcoin investing but crypto investing is worldwide so let's quote from him we have a responsibility to de uh, democratize investing and we have done a great job and the role of etfs in the world is transforming investing and i think we are only at the beginning of that and now with crypto the idea of democratizing the rule the cost right now to transact is quite expensive we are talking points and not decimal points um, and so that's a big point too over the last five years more and more global investors are asking about the role of crypto and I, I, I have said I do believe a lot of crypto is going to be it's an international asset it has a differentiating value versus other asset classes but more importantly because it's so international it's going to trans uh, transcend any one currency and currency valuation important words if you just look at the value of uh, our dollar how it depreciated the last two months and how much is depreciated over the last five years an international crypto product can really transcend that and that's why we believe there are great opportunities and that's why we were uh, we are seeing more and more interest and that interest is broad-based worldwide says think we are working with our regulators because we want as in any new market if blackrock's name is going to be on uh, we are going to make sure that it's safe and sound and protected guys really cool and next europe expects its first etf bitcoin etf this month according to the report so uh, Bit europe will launch europe's first bitcoin etf is set to launch in july after a, tw a 12 months delay caused by the crypto winter the fund has been authorized in uh, gornesi a more flexible jurisdictions uh, which will uh, ostensibly help to avoid some of the regulatory challenges associated with the European Union. Europe uh, to have its first Bitcoin ETF listed after a year-long delay. Okay. Cool. So in which jurisdiction is that, guys? I don't see. Jacobi's Bitcoin fund authorized in uh, Guernsey. Guernsey, what's Guernsey? Okay. A Channel Island jurisdiction that will facilitate the launch as it's not subject to in inherent inflexibility of being an EU member. So this is not an EU member, Guernsey. Okay, very large regulatory challenges according to uh, funding partner. No, no. So guys, uh, it's in Europe, but not within the European Union. Next piece of news is crazy 2025 crypto rally approaching 
says investor who called 2022 market bottom and he is Chris Berniske. Berniske, a current partner at uh, Placeholder Capital and former analyst at ARK Invest, says that a new bull cycle is brewing, uh, backed by a slew of new projects and catalysts. We thought uh, 2013 was crazy until we saw 17. We thought 17 was crazy until we saw 21. We thought 21 was crazy until we saw 25. Regulatory currents are changing, now products are shipping. Uh, IFS Internet Financial System is ma ma mat mat maturing. NFTs and non-fungible tokens are mainstreaming. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink is bullish and once again rates will drop uh, repricing time and all risk assets. Pack your bags and buckle up, it's gonna get silly. In the future everything becomes a roll-up, tapping into the security of a handful of multi-trillion dollar base layers, simple as that. Consolidation of one layer infrastructure leads to cementing winners and value uh, accrual there while de demolishing the value of the long tail of infrastructure. Those playing the VC venture capital infrastructure game for too long will get rightfully burned. Through this consolidation, the cost of uh, block space service provising collapses, leading to ex expansion and increased experimental at the app layer, may take a cycle to become obvious. Uh, so, Bernischke named Solana as one of the biggest opportunities for the next bull market cycle, and also uh, it can happen that Solana uh, will uh, build a layer two for Ethereum, and that would uh, be really huge. I think if I had to pick an ecosystem that continues and that you should pay attention to and its continuousness is undervalued, I would be Solana. Placeholder, each bear market tends to pick a, an ecosystem or two and build an aircraft carrier strategy around that ecosystem. And so uh, the last bear market, it was Ethereum and Bitcoin because those were really the only thing that uh, at scale and, and liquid enough to justify. And what I mean, what I mean by aircraft carrier, if you take Ethereum, buy a bunch of core Ethereum asset, but then venture invest around it and really get to know that ecosystem and who call all the people are that that are working on say at the point is in time lending or that or that on DEXs, this satellite changes or asset management or whatever, and then you can pick the best teams of the teams that most uh, speak to you from a venture perspective. We are doing that the exact same aircraft carrier strategy around Cosmos and Solana right now. So he's betting on Cosmos and Solana. Next piece of news is that BNB token is being heavily shorted. Perpetual futures shows. So BNB shorted you see on this uh, futures uh, chart. So. Um, BNB is, um, is, is, is bought up on the spot market, uh, spot market because a launchpad is uh, uh, releasing a new project and then if you are looking up BNB that you can participate. This is why um, spot buying is going on, but uh, more and more people are shorting. We are still hiring and sa some layoffs uh, at Binance and some rumors Everybody expect that DOG will go after CZ and uh, they are shorting BNB. BNB looks weak as long as price trades below 265. Back about there, I could be some li illiquid short covering a rally as eventually below the monthly range low 218. Cool. Next piece of news is this is how much Bitcoin uh, has been lost forever. So there are some on-chain uh, analyses and let's see. Ever wondered how many Bitcoins are lost forever? Our uh, data shows that 29% of BTC hasn't moved in over five years. It's possible that a large part of these concerns lost coins. So 29% of BTC lost. So so Bitcoin, Bitfinex also reported a, a, approximately 70% of BTC circulating supply has remained dormant for at least a year. 
This is the highest ever recorded since the inception of leading crypto asset. Bitcoin's upcoming halving event next uh, year, April. So the block reward from 6.25 BTC will go down and half to 3.125 BTC. So the accumulation is ongoing and more and more Bitcoin uh, is lost. So next piece of news is Binance completes integration of Bitcoin Lightning Network. This is really important. So Binance, one of the biggest exchange, uh, exchanges, um, in, <coughs> completed the implementation of uh, Bitcoin Lightning. And this is really fast and cheap uh, because the Lightning Network is a second layer uh, on the top of the Bitcoin network. So that's huge. And I think Coinbase will come also Coinbase uh, intention, intention to integrate the Bitcoin layer, uh, Bitcoin layer two network on Coinbase. However, he didn't give it time. So there is no time timeline from Coinbase, but also they will they will integrate soon. Next important news: that Brazilian CBDC allows government to freeze funds, developer finds. So a developer is uh, researching the upcoming uh, Brazilian central bank digital currency. Uh, uh, Pedro Magales, he's a founder of Wefri Consulting Company. And uh, let's quote, they, they, tend, they tend to keep things closed off and usually don't communicate with non-bankers. The ability to freeze and, and arrest a month had in the system is protected by current legislation in Brazil according to central bank so so the government will able to uh, freeze money if uh, CBDCs will be launched they will try hard to adopt it and they have to power to do it the expert in Ethereum solidity programming language yeah cool so guys uh, that's it uh, let's go and check out the charts but before that, um, let's go to Twitter. Definitely follow me at MIKLOS Denklev on Twitter. And also be sure you are following Korean platform and our uh, upcoming NFT launchpad, Laserpunk underscore Gats. So, Mustache is bullish. He, see, he sees a MACD cross for altcoins, and that could trigger an altcoin season. Check out this chart, give a like and share. And we are lucky survivors. If you are reading this, you just survive Bitcoin worst performance period ever. And after worst performance, best performance will come. So I'm really uh, excited. Some uh, news about the metaverse sector and web free investments, check out. And also other Corionex and Laserpunk related tweets. And also the gold packed stablecoin Tether launching the Euro backed uh, euro packed stablecoin and huge news that uh, google play changes policy on tokenized digital assets allowing nfts and apps in in apps games new are the adoption to come so this is huge so guys let's go to PancakeSwap, provide some liquidity and also you can farm uh, your uh, lps and earn a juicy aprs so uh, use our farms you find the link in the description so app.coreum.io and you can look up your lps here so what about the bitcoin chart so we see bitcoin is consolidating and uh, oh, it's just 26 days in this consolidation and chopping around these ranges so i am adding to my long here and also buying uh, spot bitcoin for the long term we use trading, also spot and leverage uh, Bybit. You find the link in the description. Uh, also, Bybit has great features, so definitely check it out because also you can order uh, a bank card and, and spend your uh, crypto through Bybit. If you make profit, uh, then you can spend your profit. So, guys, appreciate uh, being here with, uh, with us. Uh, check out our farms. Uh, Follow me and our projects on Twitter and see you in the next video. Bye bye.